Hey, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're gonna look at lunges. We're gonna look at the frontal plane and how do I use that to activate my abductors and my adductors. I could have my patient do a, a side lunge, a step. If I have them step this way without anything, it's gonna use their, their leg, their abductor, adductor together. If I wanna bias it more to the abductors on this side, I could have them reach to the other direction. I quit here and I put my hip way out and I have to hold it. Okay, so I'll practice that and we'll go over the adductors. So try that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a small step you don't have to go far, and then that's it. Then you're gonna activate and come right back. And make it dynamic. So as you go out, do it again and reach. So they have to happen together. That can be with or without a weight. A weight's an idea. You can have them do the same thing, do the same thing without the weight. Just reach your hands. That's it. So now we're loading those abductors. Let's say I really wanted to get more adductors or proximal or distal hamstrings. I could do the opposite. I could have them still lunge that way and reach to the same side. So lunge and reach. So now we're gonna get those muscles on the inside to kind of slow them down. Try a couple like that. Good. So in the clinic, you can do it multiple ways. You could do it with a weight, without a weight. If you have somebody who's in a walker, you can just have them use the, hold on to the walker as they do it. So any level, and you can make it as hard or as easy. If you wanna make it easy, you just do a small motion. If you wanna make it harder, you can do longer lunges. Hope it works for you. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.